I'd enjoy <coughs> that uh, 1999 Nissan Skyline <coughs> four door, so it's a sedan. And yes, it's a non turbo automatic at the moment. Um, I got this because uh, it was cheap, considering that it's a Skyline, and uh, I just love Japanese cars and. Uh, if I buy something already done, it's not much fun to it. For me, wrenching is everything. I love, I love tinkering and doing things, even if I don't even know what I'm doing. But it's challenging. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see here, I already got the gearbox for it, um, short shifter, uh, pedals, all the conversion kit, drive shaft, already waiting for be installed um, I'm gonna buy going to buy uh, a new engine for it uh, which is gonna be an it's, it's an RB25 at the moment so uh, it's the same engine as the most common um, Skylines with RB25 debt which is the same engine just a turbo on it now <coughs> I could put a turbo on this one but it's got a different compression ratio do it as any engine, so uh, uh, it won't really work. Probably I could get about 20% power range, an extra power. It's 200 horsepower at the moment, which is not too bad for what it is really. And uh, and uh... oh, hi, JJ. Okay, JJ. Thanks, JJ. JJ, she's a lovely woman, mother of law. So yeah, um, all right. Um, she's going for a walk. Yeah. So uh, I decided to not to touch this engine. I'm gonna keep it as a spare or anything like it because it's really healthy. And uh, yeah, she's 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 goes all right for what it is. Anyway, um, I do bought already a lot of bits for the new engine build. Uh, I bought, I bought um, a turbo. It's a GT Garrett GT35 um, CP Racing top mount turbo manifold, waste gauge, screamer pipe, um, RP head start um, gasket, uh, upgraded fuel pump, um, adjustable combat pulleys, little baits, you know. Just take it slowly. I'm not. I don't want to. I'm not a millionaire, so I don't want to spend thousands and thousands and thousands on it in one go. So I just buy the bits little by little, and once I'm ready, I hit it. And yeah, but main time being, I uh, also paying attention on how it looks. So it came when I bought it. It was a completely stock car, absolutely standard. And it looked actually pretty ugly. Since it was mm, just over a year ago, and since we got coilovers, adjustable coilovers, adjustable uh, damp and uh, high uh, wheels, tires, uh, a body kit, which is about an I'm saying body kit. We got side skirts and uh, and uh, back bumper lips. So these, these, and the size skirts, they're all fiberglass, and uh, because it's a four door, it's really hard to get hold of for stuff like that. So that body kit been made for me in Russia. It take three months from ordering to actually get it in my hands, and it came as a plain white, uh, molded out um, fiberglass. So I had to send it, paint it, etc., etc. Other modes, uh, that's a GTT wing. Mm, the the original wing is pretty much the same shape but lower, much lower. So I got there and I painted this right here in my garage with a red can. It didn't come out bad. It's a red can job, I guess. Obviously, I sanded it down and I polished it back up. Mm, little bits like there when a little bit over polished it. You know, yeah, we all learning from our own. You can see it here, mistakes, and I had a little 
coffee cups here you can see it here so what happened here the pe the, the clear colder had a horrendous uh, run on it so I sanded it down and repainted it <clears throat> just that corner from here to there and it didn't came out as good as the original paint uh, maybe one day when I'm really bored I will repaint it but really it's just noticeable if you really look it hard <clears throat> yeah and uh, it got that rubber lip all the way around I just gotta just get out and show you uh, so yeah that's rubber lip on the side skirts as well uh, oh and uh, new brakes uh, I upgraded the brakes uh, these are from a Nissan Skyline GTT coupe version they are a bit bigger than the original brakes it came with so I'm happy with that they've been completely refurbished and uh, painted same color as the car uh, new disc obviously so it's got brand new brakes all around that front lip <coughs> and then pretty much that's it everything else is stock yeah all right now the reason I'm here today first of all it's quarantine so I'm really bored second I did bolt I show you up here uh, you knew, can you see that these lines the big white thing that's a scoop that's uh, I think it's a top secret uh, GDM style top secret style or whatever it is uh, hood scoop, her bonnet scoop but I want to keep the car original uh, well I, I want to keep the original part so you know if I look after it that that's in immaculate condition there's no rust whatsoever on it being a 20 year old car it's amazing all right so I want to keep all the original parts I don't want to mock up anything so for that uh, scoop I bought a second hand which is hiding underneath that rubber um, bubble wrap and I'm trying to put that scoop onto that one and paint it and then put that on and keep it keep the original one so uh, you know maybe 10 years from now this car will worth a ton of money you never know so yeah I want to look after it another thing uh, with the body kit I got a, a back roof spoiler came with as you can see here it goes on the back windshield and this looks pretty nice but it's in the wrong shape so I've been playing with it I got some fiber gloves uh, bundle or whatever it is on it and I'm waiting for waiting for uh, dry I'm gonna send it off uh, and uh, test fit it again and we'll see and once it's fit nicely I'm gonna paint it uh, yeah so it's really a lot to do especially when it comes to the engine and do the engine bit uh, I know it's not a machine related stuff but since I got nothing else to do and I just uh, you know keep learning about making videos and cars everyone loves cars well most of the people love cars so I thought I'll give it a go and if you guys like it just let me know and I do some more while I'm going doing bits oh another mode obviously the exhaust the exhaust is a job, job speed muffler I got a complex system sitting right there and more bits here and there I got a decap pipe as well but I did put it on and it was loud I mean really loud so well, I, I like attention but not that much attention so so I put I stuck the I stuck the original system back on and I just put the muffler on and it sounds really nice and it looks nice the, the back muffler is full chrome and huge so yeah uh, yeah that's it for now uh, I try I'm gonna unwrap that hood dig that scoop up from there I bought it a year ago uh, this is how things go so I just got no time um, yeah so I dig these out and then let's see how they look on the bonnet so here we are that is the scoop that is my bonnet I bought the second hand one you can see there's no holes in it and um, 
and I'm actually not planning to do any horse in it. I don't want any water to get in the engine bay. It's not a drift car or a sports car or whatever it is. Um, you know, it's not gonna be sent hard to, to be too important for an airflow. The reason for this coupe having a hose um, is that when the air comes in on the front through the radiator, all the air, hot air, which is cooling the engine down, can come out on the top of the bonnet. <coughs> so it's providing better cooling for your engine. But like I said, it's not a race car, it's not a drift car or anything like it. <coughs> so that's going to be done for me. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this. You know, I'm, um, I'm just learning. Like I said, I just like to play with things. Mm. Now to get a, a factory made um, Nismo or a carbon fiber or whatever um, hood like this with a scoop on it, we're talking about between six hundred to a thousand pounds. So it's quite expensive. And like I said, I'm not a millionaire and I don't want to spend on the car uh, thousands and thousands and thousands all in one go. So I bought this hood, a bonnet, for £130. That scoop cost me £60 and I'm going to do the rest. You know, uh, bundle, hair, hardware and uh, paint will cost me uh, a couple of quid, but it's not going to break the bank. So yeah, that's the cheapest way and like i said i still got the original hood on so if i fuck this up well shit happens and uh, my car is still look good with the original hood on so yeah uh, i don't know probably the easiest way is just to rivet it rivet it down but i don't want the rivets to show so i want to blind it in for the beginning just to place it probably i, I, I put a few rivets in there and uh, and then uh, hit it with a fiberglass bundle and uh, yeah we'll see how it comes out how it looks and um, we'll see uh, if you got guys any suggestion just uh, let me know well <coughs> I had a little play I marked the middle out there and there and at the back so it's exactly in the center and I can just adjust it up and down where am I want it. Uh, the first problem I run into is the actual um, square things for the window wiper washer. So that we need two holes there. Well anyway, that's the smallest problem. The biggest problem is the thing is so rigid, um, there's not much flex to it. You can bend it a little bit, but if you're going too hard, you end up with the little buckets like here and once you paint it it will show badly and um, the another, another thing is I don't know if you can see it but the lip is like I can put my almost my fingernail underneath it I don't know if you see it it's a quite a big gap so yeah I'm never gonna get the um, molder in just with the bundle or the body filler so yeah, that's a dead idea. But another idea I've been thinking. So I've been using these rubber things for my uh, side skirt um, lips here all the way, and they work very well. I like them. And um, protecting the paint, scratching paint on um, paint, and etc. etc. And they look good as well. So if I order some of these and I just put these all the way on there, and uh, basically paint the whole bonnet, paint that separately. I got the holes now, so I know where it's gonna be. Rivets there, rivets there, rivets there, da, 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 da. And uh, just paint these, put the rubber thing on, and just rivet it down. And uh, that that rubber uh, ceiling will shows all the way around, because obviously it's gonna be gray as the car. And uh, yeah, wonder how is it would look. I don't think so it would look horrendously bad probably not the best but I'm afraid that's my only option I the another option is really but <laughs> it's not really an option to actually cut the hole out for it but f 
for the because it's a bracing underneath. Uh, if I cut the bracing out, uh, the the bonnet is lost. It's gonna lose its flexibility. It's gonna be floppy. The, every time you open it, the pain will crack. So that's not an option for me. And there's no way I cut the out skinner out with how. Um, the trouble is, if I cut it exactly the same size as this, I'm never gonna fit it. How I'm gonna fit it? You know what I mean? It's just gonna drop in there and that's it. Uh, the way it should be done is actually mark this and cut the hole an inch smaller all the way around. So when you take this underneath, you got something to got a little shoulder all the way around to uh, attach it to. But I can't do this because the bracing underneath, I don't want to cut it out. So I, once I cut the hole smaller than the actual lip, I can't put it underneath it, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Uh, not quite sure what to do, really. I've been, uh, I will think about it and uh, do a bit of research how the people done it or something like that. But if you have any idea, just let me know, please.